Skellig originally was considered the worst fossil Lumion, but now thanks to Drudge, Skellig's new move, Skellig stonks are a whole time high. Okay, they have their own Skellig, which is really cool. Okay, the one with the Garbantus lead, that's actually really, really bad for me. I'm still gonna go for the Flash and Flea, but I, I can't really like swap into anything to take a poison, so I'd rather Elephage get poisoned. It sucks, but I can't really do anything about it. Okay, then we go Deladrix and just click Douse, just to basically do as much damage as possible. Hopefully they don't go Cannibal expecting this, but if I were to guess any potential thing coming in, it'd be Venolan, I guess. They did swap out, and it isn't a Venolan, so glad I went for Douse, so also I get Stab, whereas Jetstream doesn't get Stab, but that does mean I have to swap out again. Hey, they actually go for Barter, which I'm assuming is Heavy Shackles? It is Heavy Shackles. Maybe just basically the slowest thing in the game, okay? For this specific battle, so that doesn't really mean much. It's just like, oh no, I lose like 20% of my damage, which does suck, but it could be way worse. Surprisingly, they stayed in and they went for poison. Um, I feel like they should have something like a Gobademic on their team, maybe, because they have Venolan to poison and they have Garbantis to poison, so I feel like having something that can take advantage of that would be really nice, although I don't think they do. Rejuvenate, I, I did way more than like half your health, so that was kind of a waste of time. But yeah, they haven't really got anything to swap into Meditoad, so I see why they're just like trying to stall out my energy, I guess. Yeah, there's the Gabantus. It is definitely going to click Battering Ram, so we definitely go Elephage here, which is really good because we also get rid of its um, trash armor, so it's going to be a lot easier to also take down, especially with Skellic. The issue is I don't really want to get poisoned by Garbantus, so uh, yeah. And also, I would rather like try and waste its energy because Battering Ram will also do a pretty good amount of damage to us, I think. Okay, actually, good news. I think we can actually. Oh, here's Earthquake as well. That'll take me out, right? Yeah. I was assuming Battering Ram again. I f forgot I gave Garbantus Earthquake, so. Oops! <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. But it's fine. We'll try the Skellic uh, potential sweep now. I've done a lot of battles with Skellic. It's not bad. It's just that whenever I have Drudge, I've only like taken out a couple of things. For also a showcase, I wanted to do a little bit more than just taking out two things and dying, okay? So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I haven't gotten like great battles uh, of using Skelet Kit. And also, I know I'm using the Alpha one. I don't like the Alpha Skelet. It's a really nasty green. But unfortunately, it was the only uh, brawny combative Skelet I have. I, I also revived 5,000 fossils recently. I didn't keep it in the normal Skelet slow. And unfortunately, I didn't get a combative pure brawny. Uh, Gamma one, so I'm kind of stuck with this awful green one because I, I don't have any fossils left. I'm gonna go dive after I just did 5,000 of them. Okay, we go for the Aqua Jaws here. It potentially might KO because obviously no uh, trash armor, but if it doesn't, it would make Battering Ram do less damage to me. Also, my ability against swapped out doesn't really mean too much because I only had combative. It would have really sucked if they had like a Sea of Night with Terrifying, but I don't think they have anything that can lower my stats with abilities like Terrifying, so. Yeah, I think we're fine just get rid of our ability like that. Does a plus one skill like get rid of Snagoop? Is a question I would be saying, but they actually doubled up into their own Skellic. Not really sure what they were planning to do there, but interesting. <laughs> I have no idea what they were doing. I just realized their Snagoop is in a water disc. Why are people doing this to me, man? I feel like people are actually just catching things in just stupid discs just to troll me. But yeah, we guys want to go for the Primal Slash. We outspeed the Snagoop, okay? We should one shot it. It's not like super bulky. Okay, then. Skellig's doing his job, okay? This is the most amount of KOs I've gotten in a battle so far. It got free on its own. We love to see that. Now, go get a fourth one. Come on, let's do it. Erupted on. Dang, that really sucks. This is actually your last one. Now, then. Do we miss the Aqua Jaws? Of, of course we do. <laughs> of course we're going to miss it. Surprisingly, we didn't, and that should be the KO, right? Nice! Well, that was our first great battle. At least that you guys are gonna see, because I've done a lot more, okay? Okay, is gonna be a little bit of a problem, so is Cephalops, and so is Lumelo. So, it's gonna be definitely a lot bigger of a challenge, but I'm ready for it, okay? Oh yeah, I guess I need to mention it again, because people just keep leaking my teams. If I'm battling you, there's a reason why I turn off Bectit, so people don't see what team I'm using, and then proceed to counter team it just in the hopes that they beat me and I put in a video. If you leak my team, I delete all of the footage basically that I just recorded and then I hop servers. Don't leak my teams, it's not fun in the slightest. It's not fun for me because now I got 
10 different people on the server that wants to beat me with perfect counter teams. And it's not fun for everyone else because it's like, yeah, they beat me. But at what costs? They cheated. Anyway, we're gonna go for the barbs low. Uh, we did also reduce the Himbra's attacks a little bit, although it is gonna do a lot to us, but I'll take one layer of barbs. I don't think they have any way to get rid of them, although I could have definitely miscounted. Also, that outsped me. Well, I'm gonna go into Deladrix. I don't really wanna take a hit, but I mean, I can definitely take an Earthquake. There's no way that's Boots, right? A Boots Himber? I, I don't think that's possible, right? There's no way someone's running that, but... I think that's faster than uh, my sluggish 80 speed TP one that I usually run, I, I think. So I actually have no idea how much speed this is running. I think it's way more than what I usually use. But they go for the withdraw. Into what? Zulong. That's fine, a little bit of chip damage, but also a uh, douse, which is neutral. And I'm pretty sure I also outspeed it because I am boots. And I, yeah. So, uh, yeah, see you later, Zulong. Why did you do that? I really don't know. Yeah, well, there's Ikazune. Um, again, Deledrix kind of pops off and just kills you. Why did you go into this? I'm actually very confused. I am going to go into Seonite low. Yes, this is a really, really dumb idea, but I'm going to sacrifice Seonite to go into Scalic and just basically hope that I can live a Ikazune Energy Surge or Thunder Strike. Electro burst. Okay, that could actually burn me or paralyze me. I'm still gonna risk it, low. I actually outspeed it, so I'm gonna guess this isn't really TP train. There's the energy surge. At least I didn't go for the electro burst. This shouldn't one shot me. And the best part is I'm not gonna get paralyzed or burnt. So I am gladly taking it. Now, if I miss this aqua jaws, I'm gonna rage. I didn't low. Bye bye, Ikazune. Oh, bye bye. I'll go into the scale. Like, if this is boots. I'm also going to cry. I don't believe it is low. Okay, nice. Uh, <laughs> I'm really banking on people like not using boots because also a plus one scale like while he's running 200 speed TPs, I can outspeed a lot of things. I think I actually outspeed nimble gobademics or it's like just under nimble gobademics or very nimble gobademic. Either way, we can basically outspeed the entire game that isn't running boots. So if something like, I don't know, Snagoop is running boots or Zulong is running boots, we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Now here, I've actually had this encounter before, and unfortunately, Megachomp doesn't one-shot Meditoad. I think Aquajol does a little bit more dam damage because uh, of Stab, so I'm gonna go for Aquajaws. Hopefully I don't miss it, which I don't. Is it enough? It is. Actually critical here, so never mind. It didn't matter what I do, but like I said, it's in the first battle. I've done a few of these battles okay with Skellic, and it has done pretty darn good, okay? Like, the glow up on Skellic is insane. Same with, like, uh, Deladrix. Deladrix and Skellic and Alanthine City Part 1 have had an insane glow up. And I've also had this situation before, and unfortunately, I do know that Aqua Jaws isn't gonna one-shot Himber, but, uh, we still have to go for it to get as much damage as possible. But, uh, yeah, it isn't gonna KO, is it? <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. Maybe it was worth going for Mega Chomp to potentially flinch it? But, uh, yeah, I was kind of banking on the fact that it isn't going to be as tanky, because clearly it's a lot faster than my Seonite for some reason. Unless my Seonite is just, like, that slow, but I don't think it is. It also has 48 speed TPs, so that's a very fast timber, unless it's boots, which is interesting if it is. Either way, hello. Okay, Deladrix, go get him, man. Go mess up the Himber. How dare you take up my Skellic, man? How dare you not get one shot? But if I had three layer of barbs up, I think I might have potentially KO'd it, or it would like just barely live. So I don't think it actually really would have mattered how many layer of barbs I had. So I think if you, you are going to use Skellic, your own Skellic, definitely you don't want to like send it out immediately and trying to sweep. Uh, also, it is on boots because it just used two different moves, so it is just one really fast Himber. Interesting. So yeah, if you are going to use your own skill like low, don't send out the battle straight away. Do a little bit of damage, maybe get some barbs up to potentially obviously get rid of clutch plushies, and then Skellic can pop off for you. Okay, then, getting into the set, we're running 200 melee tech TPs with Brawny and the Ancient Essence, which will hit as hard as physically possible, and this goes really nicely with the ability Combative, preventing Skellic's melee attack from being lowered by things like Terrifying, because it just makes us even stronger. Then we have 200 speed TPs, which will be as fast as possible. Then we have 28 energy TPs, which at level 50 gives us 270 energy to use, which lets us go for one Drudge, one Primal Slash, and then four of our other moves. And finally, the 72 health TPs are leftovers, but adds a decent 
a bit of bulk to Skellig so we can take a hit a little bit better, making it easier for us to set up. For the item, like I said, we're running the Ancient Essence because we're mostly clicking Primal Slash. However, running other essences are fine or potentially running a shell could also work if you need to absolutely nuke something that is standing in our way. Or if you really want to make it easier to set up judges, you could even consider running a Pearl or even Health Amulets. And then finally, onto the Moose Lane. Also, we're running Drudge, which is a new addition to Skellic with the Atlantean City Part 1 update. It basically increases our speed and melee tech stat by one stage each. Then we have Primal Slash as our Ancient Stab of Choice. Outburst is another option, however, Primal Slash is just more spammable since Outburst loses power the lower energy we have. And after we click Drudge, if you think about it, do we really want to spend time clicking Wait or Rest or... Would we use that time to rather just do a massive amount of damage? Our water stab is going to be Aqua Jaws, although Piercing Drive is another option. And then our last move is going to be Mega Chomp, which will help us for coverage against things like Luminami, although there are some other options in the form of Phantom Slash, Shadow Sprint, or Chili Chomp. 